There's a new feature in Gmail that lets you send proposed times to meet that the recipient can just click on to schedule. So I have this email. Someone said, I have a question. Do you have time to chat? Directly from email, I can click on reply and choose the set up time to meet new icon in the bottom of the message. It works for replies, forwards, and new messages to any email address, regardless of email provider. When I click on that, I'm next going to choose offer times you're free. This opens up my calendar on the side and I can go ahead and select chunks of time from here on various days if I want. And once I've chosen the times I want, I can choose how long I want the meeting to be. So this one I'll say 30 minutes. Any chunk of time I selected longer than that will have separate buttons for each 30 minute interval. If I click next, it's going to show me a summary of the times I chose here those time windows. I can click on any of these to modify those as needed, add more times on a specific day, or remove times from a day or add days. Under more info, I can add where this location will be. So I can add a Google Meet link to whatever time they book automatically. I can say it will be in person and add the location. I can say it will be a phone call and the person will be prompted to enter their phone number. Or I can say none specified later and I can add it once it's booked. For this, I'm going to show phone call so you can see that option later. Description is what the person asked about there. The event title is going to be let's meet but I could change it if I wanted to. When that's all set I'll click add to email and then I will see these buttons added to my email. I'll send it and then we'll jump over to the other account so you can see how this looks for the recipient. Okay, so I, as a recipient now, have gotten this email and I can pick the time I want. As a recipient, it can be helpful to open the calendar up in the side so I can compare what times work for me. I'm going to choose this Wednesday at noon time. So when I click that button, it opens up a new window where I can clarify any of my information. And because it was set to be as a phone call, I can put my phone number in. When I click confirm as a recipient of that email, I'm going to get an email with the information at the address entered here and it will be added to any calendar connected to that email address. Click on confirm. I get this message telling me that my time was scheduled basically, my event was confirmed. And if I go back to email here, I see that the event has been added to my calendar and my information is in there. That phone number I put in there. Let's jump back to account that sent the invitation now. Alright, and as the sender of the invitation, I also got an email confirmation telling me this event has been created. And when I go to calendar, I will see the event has been added to my calendar as well. And I see the same information. The phone number that they entered is in the location and both guests have been added. If I did need to add a Zoom or other guests, for example, as the person who sent the invitation, I can click on the edit icon and I can add whatever information I want here, including a Zoom link now that this has been actually booked. Save and send. Okay, a couple notes about these. These suggested time buttons only work for one-to-one -one meetings that you send to one other person. So I booked this meeting already, but let's say it's like, oh, wait a second, this time doesn't work. When I try to click on another time, it's going to tell me you already picked a time. So these links are one-time use for one person to book. So you cannot send this to a group of people to see when they all can meet doesn't work. You can't send multiple times to multiple people for them to book their own one-on-ones. In one email, these buttons are only going to work for one person. The other thing is, let's say that my calendar fills up and actually the times start to have a conflict for me. These are not going to modify later. I can't change what I've sent to someone. So they're best if you send them to someone and they book right away while your calendar still has the same availability. When you look at the time zones, when you send the email, the times in the email will be in the sender's time zone. And in the booking page that comes up with the information, it will be in the recipient's time zone. So if those are different, this page will show that information for sure. And right now, these can only be scheduled as the sender on your primary calendar. If you do want to send possible times to more than one person so they can each book their own one on one, in that case, you would want to hop over to calendar and use the appointment schedule tool there to do that. All right, so this is a new quick way to send a few availabilities to one person for them to book a time with you. Try it out.